possibility, plus some optimism or positivity, and work help you get where you're going to be. They help you get to that millionaire mindset. People that are focused on money alone, chasing money, don't ever catch it. They never catch it. People that are chasing the things they love to do, and they're working hard every day at it, and they have a great energy about them with positivity, and they believe it's possible to become a millionaire. Becoming a millionaire is not your right. It is not your right. You are not supposed to just have this because you deserve it. You don't deserve anything that you don't work for in life. And the reality is it starts with the mindset. The millionaire mindset starts with something that's extremely unique but easy. It's a recipe for success. You don't just wake up and have the right to be wealthy. People, the majority of millionaires, in fact, I believe the number is 70 plus percent of millionaires today started with zero. They woke up with nothing and today they have something, something substantial. So the gap between the, the thinking of thinking that they just got there because someone gave it to them is absolutely ridiculous. But there is a recipe. And the millionaire mindset is something that isn't ridiculous. Because if you think about where it all starts, first of all, it starts in the world of possibility. Being a millionaire, being someone that has accumulated enough wealth that they can do the things they wanna do, and maybe for you it's a multi-millionaire, but the reality is to be wealthy in that capacity starts with possibility. You've gotta believe that you can do it. You've gotta believe that you deserve it, okay? You don't just deserve it because you were born, but you do have to believe that you deserve it, that you're willing to go there. You have to believe in the possibility that these things can happen. A lot of people actually never even get to this first step. They never even get to the spot because they just believe that they were born into this world and this is their hand and they've been dealt it and they're never going to get out of it. Man, that's so sad. I think, I think back to being a kid and, and thinking that, that I could be, you know, one of two jobs, you know, was I going to be a teacher or a police officer? My brain was defined in one of two different directions. And, and, and as I got older and met new people and expanded my thought, possibility started to seep in, okay? It started to become something that I could think in a whole different realm. Possibility gave me the ability to think in a different way, to find things that I love to do and then do them, right? I also had to have something else. Possibility without optimism is useless. So I can't believe something's possible and then throw negativity at it every single day. Optimism and positivity means that every day I wake up and I say, it's gonna be better today. I'm gonna work towards this goal today. I have something in my brain that I'm working for and it's possible, so I'm going to work at it. See, optimism with possibility adds that positive flair that gets you through the hard days. Failure is inevitable. Disappointment is inevitable. Just because something's possible doesn't mean it's gonna be immediate. It means that it also has to have something else. Work, hard work, work ethic. So let's go back, possibility plus some optimism or positivity and work help you get where you're gonna be. They help you get to that millionaire mindset. People that are focused on money alone, chasing money, don't ever catch it. They never catch it. People that are chasing the things they love to do and they're working hard every day at it and they have a great energy about them with positivity and they believe it's possible to become a millionaire or a multi-millionaire, that is the mindset that stands out amongst everybody else. See, the work is simply the word execution. Execution is where the idea becomes a reality. 
So when you start putting the optimism, the possibility, and the work, you get execution. You start to see what's working and what's not. It's split testing, if you will, okay? If you're gonna run a marketing ad, you're gonna run an ad on Instagram or Facebook on whatever, and you're gonna run them in two different ways, three different ways. What worked best? See, we learn this through failure. We learn it through work. We learn it through execution. You don't learn it through thinking. Thinking keeps you in thought, but you need the execution of thought to actually learn from it. It's mandatory to think, but it's also mandatory to execute. If you spend all your time thinking and just being positive, I'm gonna be a millionaire, I'm gonna be a millionaire, I'm gonna be a millionaire, it won't get you anywhere. The secret is not the secret without action. It's action. You do have to believe it. You do have to surround yourself in a certain environment, but darn it, you got to work towards it. You also have to actually set a goal, okay? If the goal's just a dollar amount, it's empty. If the goal is a million dollars of net worth, a million dollars of liquid net worth, a million dollars of play money, whatever your goal is, if it's only money related, the number keeps changing. Don't make your goal about money. Make your millionaire mindset something that allows you to go through it, to break through the wall. The first wall of possibility is the biggest goal you can think of. What is possible in my brain and think of that, then break through it and think of something else. Because the reality is when you think about things in a bigger way, it's only because you've crashed through the old one that you can now think in that different capacity. But goals allow you to actually celebrate the successes along the way. The key component is you've got to enjoy the journey as much as you enjoy the result. This is something most of us fail at. I failed at many years in my life, especially early on. I spent so much time working and working and working towards the goal of maybe financial independence and financial freedom for our family and and any of the other things that I could contribute to the community and 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 other people's lives that was driving me that that maybe I forgot to enjoy the ride a little bit along the way. And so what you have to do is you have to have those moments where you look back. Dan Sullivan and Ben Hardy would say the gap and the gain is something to consider. This is their latest book. It's a phenomenal book. But it talks about when you live in the gap, you're always just setting a new goal every time, right? You weren't really enjoying the gain of where you came from to where you are now. If I look back at 43 years old today and I look at where I was at 23 years old 20 years ago, I was knocking on doors and cold calling to build a business. I had nothing except a great start to a life, the possibility that it could be better. Hard work, failure, wisdom, optimism, all that I had. Today at 43, I look back, and when I look back, you're really, really proud. You should be. Wherever you are, you're supposed to be there. So you should be proud of, of that gain that you've succeeded at. And the gap is always when you move your target, you move your goalposts. If I only. If this only happened now. And we all do it. I do it every day. But being mindful of it helps you be more successful. So just to recap, the millionaire mindset starts with possibility. You sprinkle in optimism and positivity. You add in work ethic for execution. And you set a goal that isn't money related. If you do those things, it's inevitable. If that's really your goal, to be a millionaire for whatever it can be to you, you'll hit it because the mindset was what you had to shift. You had to shift the mindset. Mindset is everything. The thought, what you think you are, you are, right? We, we hear this all the time. You are what you think you are. If you've never heard that, listen to it. Say it to yourself. If you wake up every day and say, oh, I'm so bad at my, my job. I'm so ugly. I'm so fat. I'm so whatever, all the negative things that people say to themselves, flip the mindset, watch what changes. Watch how you see yourself in the mirror. Watch how quick your bank account grows. Watch how your life looks better. 
Watch how your family notices the energy. Watch how much better of a husband, a father, a mother you are, a partner. That is the mindset. See, being a millionaire means nothing without all the other things that make life worth living. Having a rich life still matters, but having a rich life with an extra million dollars can probably make it a little better. So enjoy your millionaire mindset and don't forget to tune into our other videos. Subscribe, like, share. These, these are videos that other people just might need as a reminder. A little positive energy, a spark to help them think differently. And thanks for following us. Watch our other videos.